Hello, welcome to the Mark Janot Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to talk about this particular firmware that if you download on your Flipper Zero, uh, you can hack phones like that. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We are going dark. So this firmware in question is the extreme firmware, right? So what does it mean with the Flipper Zero? So the Flipper Zero is already a powerful tool, but extreme firmware takes it to the next level by adding the ability to spam Bluetooth devices, emulate RFID tags, and control sub gigahertz devices. Extreme firmware makes the Flipper Zero a one-stop shop for attackers, hackers, ethical hackers rather, because it's not always bad, right? So here are just a few examples of the kinds of attacks that can be carried out with a Flipper Zero running extreme firmware, right? Because there's talks about a whole bunch of, you know, kinds of firmware for the Flipper Zero, but the extreme firmware is is really unique and it can do things like this. Denial of service attacks, right? A Flipper Zero can be used to launch denial of service attacks against Bluetooth enabled devices, such as smartphones, tablets, and laptops. This can disrupt the ability of these devices and make them unusable. Next, we have the phishing attacks, and a Flipper Zero can be used to spoof the names of trusted Bluetooth devices, and this can be used to trick users into connecting to malicious devices, which can be then used to steal their data or launch other attacks. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. The next thing is unauthorized access, which is a Flipper Zero can be used to emulate RFID tags in order to gain unauthorized access to buildings and other secure areas. Next, it, you know, there's also the attack on sub gigahertz devices. Now, again, this is all in tangent with the uh, extreme firmware that we're talking about. This is just not the Flipper Zero by itself. You're going to have to download the f- extreme firmware, which I'm going to show you how to do. And I'm going to show you where to go on your Flipper Zero after it's downloaded to go hack phones. Now, Sub sub gigahertz devices such as garage doors, openers, and security systems, right? That's what it can do. This could be used to disable these devices or to gain unauthorized control of them, okay? So now let's get into the realm of how to install the extreme firmware on the Flipper Zero because you have to install it, then you're going to have to know how to use it in order to hack uh, phones. Now, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Peter... I need you to put two things on the screen for the viewers, right? Two things. The first thing is, Peter, I want you to put this link address, uh, which is courtesy of GitHub, on the screen for the viewer. The HTTPS GitHub, you know, dot com slash Flipper Zero. Put it on the screen for the viewers, right? And and let it sit and marinate so they got time to write it down. Right? Now, Peter, take it off the screen. The second thing, Peter, I need you to put on the screen is the three different methods on the screen for the viewers, right? There are three different methods to install the extreme firmware on the Flipper Zero. Now, once that is accomplished, the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to install the QFlipper application. And you can do that, right? And Peter, you're going to have to put these pictures on the screen as I'm talking so the viewers can pres- you know, clearly see. Step one, install Flatpak on your system. And, you know, you're going to want to install Flatpak on the, uh, you know, using the below command, which is the command on the screen, Peter. You could put that on the screen for them. Step two, add the Flathub repository. Flathub is the best place to get Flatpak apps. To enable it, you're going to want to run. And Peter, put that on the screen. Step three, install QFlipper on your Debian uh, Linux, right? The Debian Linux. And again, Peter, put that on the screen for them. Step four, fix invalid device slash unsupported device found. Now, if you receive, and Peter, you can put that on the screen again, right? So if you receive the, you know, the error that's on your screen, you're going to want to follow the instructions, you know, on the screen, Peter, as well to resolve the issue. Uh, you would need to create a new UDEV rule for Flipper Zero USB, right? And then you're going to run the, the, the command on the screen, as Peter's putting it, to create UDEV rule. Uh, sometime, you know, you will need to reboot for the new rule to take effect. And, um, you know, you can also uninstall the QFlipper and Flatpak by running this command uh, to un- to uninstall the fl- um, qu- um, <laughs> the Q Flipper and the Flatpak. So we have the Flipper Zero. 
we have the extreme firmware downloaded because you know the steps so we have the the flipper zero we have the extreme firmware we have everything locked and loaded right so now let's get into what you're gonna have to do in order to maximize and take advantage of uh the uh you know hacking phones with the extreme flipper zero firmware now number one you're gonna want to launch the uh, the q flipper application launch it next you're gonna want to connect your flipper zero to the usb that is connected to your computer right just right now once that is what once you have that accomplished the next thing you want to do is on your flipper zero and do this precisely precisely right on your flipper zero you're going to want to go to apps then you're going to want to go to bluetooth and then you're going to want to go to um b l e spam b l e spam so again apps then bluetooth then b l e spam okay now in the b l e spam you can you know you can pair Samsung watches or Samsung buds, right? You can you can do a whole bunch of things in the BLE uh, spam uh, location in the Flipper Zero. Now, in the BLE spam, you're gonna see that Android option, and you might even see some iOS because iOS has vulnerabilities, right? Uh, sometimes they're fixed, sometimes they're not. So you know, depending on Apple's ability to quickly patch something, there might even be you know iOS. Uh, things in there vulnerabilities so this this applies to ios and android but there is a specific thing for android so you can connect that and then once you have that enabled on your flipper zero then you can pair uh with android uh you know phones and you can play around with it and then whatever you do just use it et ethically right this is for educational purposes i do not condone using this kind of technique for uh nefarious or malicious activities so this is use responsibly so that is what i have for you today please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button i appreciate your viewership i appreciate you watching and look if there's a better way you feel that the flipper zero or an, or this extreme firmware or another firmware can be used to hack phones please let me know in the comment section before below right let's let's get let's get the the conversation started so we can learn and and, and better understand and better protect ourselves so stay safe see you in the next video